All right, folks, here's how you add a widget to your blog. First, let's go to quests and go into the Starship Equinox quest. And we're on widgets, anyone? This, I made it optional because, you know, widgets aren't necessary. They're just fun. And plus it uh, teaches you how to add some code. So I'm going to go with the so Sudoku widget. And basically, when you find a widget you like, like this one, what you need is the code. So sometimes they let you change things, like you can set the width, select the skin color. Ooh, let's do aqua. And I do want English. And then it gives you the code. So I'm going to control C to copy. And then I'm going to open a new tab and go to blogger.com. Now remember to log in with your uh, school account. So to add a widget, you could create a new post and put the widget there, but that's no good because when you add future posts, it's going to push your widget down and then people won't be able to see it. So you want it to be on the side. That's where you go to settings. I mean, layout. Settings lets you do all sorts of other stuff. Now this is, depending on the theme you chose for your blog, you get to do stuff to your layout. I added a sidebar, and see here, you can add a gadget. So right there, gadgets allow you to insert HTML and JavaScript. Oh, that's how I can put in uh, the widget. It can also let you just put in an image, if you want to put images on the side like I did on my blog. Well, I'm going to choose HTML Java, and I'm not going to title it because it's obviously a Sudoku game, but I'm going to do in here content, control V to paste, save it, and there, see, it's called HTML JavaScript. Now, I don't want it to be at the very top, so I'm going to move it down, and I'm going to take this one and remove it because I don't need two copies of the same thing. But that's how easy it is. Now, here's the important part. Do, let me move this. Do not forget to come down here to the very bottom corner and click save. If you don't click save, uh, then your widget won't show up. So now when I go to view blog, I scroll down. Ah, and there's the so Sudoku game with the uh, cool colors I picked. And you can do the same thing with a cluster map. Let's say you want to put a map of visitors to your blog. So you're going to need to sign up. Uh, use your school Google account. Sign in with Google. I'm going to use test one. There. So now I've got that made. And I need to get a map. And I need to put in my website address. So I'm going to go to my blog, copy that, go back to cluster maps, paste that in there, and just follow the instructions. Go to next and pick what you want it to. Oh, that one's pretty. I want the globe widget. Um, and, and there's your code. You copy the code. And let's review. You go back to layout, and I'm going to add a gadget on my sidebar. And if you don't have a sidebar, pick a different theme so you can have uh, cool widgets. I'm going to do Control v right there and save. And I'm not going to title it because it, it's pretty obvious when people go there what it is. I'm going to move this one down. Or actually put it... Uh-oh, which one is it? Uh, is it this one? That's the widget. Good. I wanted to make sure it was above my Sudoku game. And then remember to come down here and save. Now, I don't have to click view my blog again because it's already on my next tab. But I am going to refresh. And there it is. Oh, it's pretty. And look, you can click and get some information. So this will show you, if people visit your blog, where they're coming from. I know, it's really cool.